Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2022 Cherokee Alpha Wolf, model 30 DBH. This particular travel trailer is one of the more popular bunkhouses in the Alpha Wolf lineup. And it comes in at 7,360 pounds unloaded and is about 37 and a half feet in overall length give or take so this particular one i would recommend a three quarter ton pickup although some half tons specifically the newer uh you know 2016 and up pickups can probably handle it with a properly uh specced out weight distribution hitch and trailer brake controller but a three quarter ton is always going to be a little bit better for towing this one this particular one is going to have the juice pack and juice pack expansion kit on it it's also going to have the new outside kitchen with the ice maker, which is a big addition for this particular trailer. I like it. Uh, let me know what you think. And it's, uh, I was going to have a couple little new changes and on the interior for 2022. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside, do a quick walk around, and then we'll do a little more detailed uh, full tour. And then we'll jump back to the outside. Let's go in and take a look. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that quick kind of fly through tour. Uh, that way it gives you kind of an overview of the floor plan. I know not everybody wants to hear me talk for 20 minutes on a trailer, but as we dive in a little deeper here, you've got a jackknife sofa here. That is the standard build. You can option this with a theater seat. Uh, and let me know which way would you prefer it. Do you want the jackknife for extra sleeping and storage? or would you like a theater seat? That way it gives mom and dad kind of a nicer place to kick back, relax directly across from the TV. Right over here, you also are gonna have the U-shaped dinette. And I've noticed they've lightened up the fabric on this just a little bit for this year. Nice big windows, and you've got the zebra shades that will let in as much or as little light as you want. Uh, this window over here doesn't open and I'm okay with that. You know, it it still gives you nice uh, Views out to your campsite, which is nice If we take spin around here and take a seat on the jackknife sofa You'll notice that you have your entertainment center directly across from the sofa and dinette This particular trailer is optioned with the 40 inch flat screen TV and you've got your appropriate connections there. Handy little USB ports down there in the bottom right of the screen there. Down below that, you do have a um, AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system there. That'll... Uh, I don't know why I lost my train of thought there. Anyways, that will control the interior and exterior outside... Or, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. That will control the interior and exterior speakers and has HDMI and USB ports. And then you've got your 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down below. You can also see that you're, they're using cabinet ducted heating, which is nice, especially in a bunkhouse, because let's be honest, we all know that kids are going to make a mess and get Cheerios and crayons and all kinds of stuff down those four heat vents. We'll come back to the kitchen here in a little bit, but it is a very well-appointed kitchen. You, 
a couple quick highlights. You've got all thermal foil pressed membrane countertops and you've got the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. We'll touch a little bit more on that here in a little bit. Over here you've still got the view in the entry door or the window for views out of your entry door. Apparently I cannot talk today and that's driving me crazy. So you've got your electric switch for your water heater right up in this top right or top left. You're also going to have your one control hotspot prep. So if you want to make that work, the part's about $400. Uh, it's really not worth it, but it's there if you want to use it. Thermostat for your AC and heat. Then you've got your voltage meter for your juice pack. And then down below you have your total control system, which is your main control panel. What that's going to do for you is it lets, your, lets you run your lights, your slide out, your awning, view your tank monitoring panel, run your water pump on gas or your water heater on gas and your water pump well apparently apparently I'm just on the struggle bus today but the nice thing about this panel is you can Bluetooth this to your phone but you don't have to you can still just use the buttons like campers have been doing for you know 50 60 years so I really like that all right guys so let's go ahead now and we'll open up all this storage and take a look at the kitchen in a little more detail. So the storage really starts right inside the entry door. You have this massive pantry here. So as you can see there, you have plenty of storage. And notice the shelves don't come all the way to the front. That's great if you have like a broom or a vacuum you want to sit in there. And then you've got some handy coat hooks right here as well. This is really important because so many times you need a place to hang a coat and there's not one and so many even big luxury fifth wheels don't do a good job with that coming over here you've got a little kick of storage above the entertainment center um, great for movies and things of that sort and I rarely ever show this and I need to do a better job with this but you do have a huge chunk of storage underneath this jackknife sofa Perfect for cases of water or blankets, pillows, things you're not going to necessarily use every day, but you need to, to bring with you. You're also going to have two full extension drawers under the dinette. These are 40 inches deep. Now they're not on roller glides or anything, but I'm okay with that because it's going to help them keep, stay uh, closed during transit. Right here you are going to have your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. This particular one is an Everchill. Normally that you would use a Canon or you would get a Canon uh, brand refrigerator. So plenty of storage there. This is going to work really well for boondocking and travel. Since you don't have any propane, um, this will run off your solar panels or the charge line on your pickup truck. And where this is important for travel is you can't run your gas and electric fridges on propane going down the road anymore. And a lot of dealers and, and customers alike don't know that, which just shocks me. To the left of that, you're going to have your three burner cooktop with the oven that does have the glass back or the glass countertop extension cover. And then you have the magnetically held in place backsplash and cutting board right there. You're also going to have a hood range and a microwave up top there. And good storage up top here as well too. Notice it goes all the way back into the corner. And then down below, you're going to have handy reach or easy to reach uh, outlets. And I love that they put them in this wall so they could be down low instead of putting them up under the cabinets high-rise faucet and then you do have the one piece or one basin stainless steel sink there as well and that is a black stainless steel that just looks great you've got the apron up front there down below you have a little kick of storage I personally would take this panel out and be able to use that for some trash can storage and then rounding out the kitchen, you've got three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. The top one does have the silverware divider in it, which is a very nice feature. 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the main living and kitchen area. And with this being a bunkhouse, you're probably buying it for the bunk room. So let's go take a look at that next. So real quick, before we step into the bunk room, you have this nice barn style pocket door here. I absolutely love this. Um, I wish more brands would go to this style instead of the in-wall pocket door, especially if we look up top here with their, with their hardware. These just don't seem to have problems is what I've noticed. So this is what we would call a quad bunk. And this particular one only has three, but it's a typical quad bunk arrangement. So you've got three single bunks back here. Every bunk is gonna have a window, a light, USB ports, and 110 outlets, which is really nice. And I love on this top bunk over here, they have a ladder that way you don't have to throw the kids up there. Good storage underneath there too. Um, I kind of wish that was a hanging rod in there, but that's okay. Um, there's a look at those other two bunks. This is where your second air conditioning unit would go if you decide to add one. So that's what that little junction box there is for. And then if you want to bring the kit or let the kids bring a TV or Xbox or something, you've got some electrical outlets and, and cable and satellite up there as well. And the ability to plug in all those devices and stuff, which is nice. Plus, I love that big cubby hole right there, too. So overall, this is a pretty good bunkhouse. It's not as big as some that I've seen, but it really is well appointed. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We'll jump up to the front, take a look at the master bedroom and bathroom, because that's important, too, especially since it's mom and dad that are buying the camper. Okay, guys, so stepping up into the master bathroom, first thing you'll notice is just how big this bathroom is. You've got tons of floor space. Another kind of unusual thing is you have a neo angle shower. So you can be upwards of 6'2", 6'3", and still shower in here comfortably. Skylight up top, and notice that's a really good placement for that skylight too. Because um, a lot of times they'll put them all the way up against the wall. You're going to be in the middle of the shower whenever you're using it. So I, I really like that. Larger vent fan right there. If we drop down here, you're also gonna have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Good storage underneath the sink, perfect for a trash can. Thermofoil press membrane countertops. The, what I have dubbed the forest river size sink. Motion sensor light, and you've got a GFI protected outlet. Rounding out the uh, bathroom, you have a nice cornered medicine cabinet with a mirror. This door here will go up into the bedroom, and then you've got an entry assist or an entry door as well. Um, we'll talk about the amenities for that on the outside. And lastly, we're going to have the master bedroom. So as we come in here, you do have a 60 by 74 inch camper queen. Now, they really had to squeeze every inch they could in here, so it's, it's really not true queen capable. You notice you have cross breeze windows just on the one side. This particular one does not open. Household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. AC heat and lights in here. I just didn't need to turn them on or forgot to. I'm not exactly sure which. Uh, cable and satellite hookups up top there if you want to add a bedroom TV. Good storage up above the bed, and there is storage underneath the bed too as well. And then lastly, you do have a nice pair of hanging wardrobes on both sides of the bed as well. So all right guys, let me know what you thought of this 30 DBH by Alpha Wolf. Do you like it? Do you prefer the 30 RDB, which is this same floor plan, but a different bunk room arrangement? And I'll leave a link to that in the video description down below. So, all right, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead. We'll jump onto the outside, take a look at some of the cool features there. And uh, again, let me know what you think. All right, guys, so we're back on the outside of this 2022 Alpha Wolf model 30 DBH. So up front here, you've got a nice three quarters fiberglass front cap. You do have the LED docking lights there. I just forgot to turn those on. Power tongue jack is standard. 
you're also going to have two 20 pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator um, and then you've got the group 27 series battery back there that's part of the juice pack and the cool thing with this one it has not just the juice pack which is a 50 watt panel the battery we just talked about the voltage meter and the battery disconnect as well as the solar charge controller but we have put the extra 100 watt panel on this one which is really cool so you have 150 watts of solar on this particular trailer which is great we'll take a look at the pass through from the other side right over here you are going to have your terminations notice that you have these extra tank pulls here the, your gate valves are actually tucked up into the underbelly which is going to keep them from freezing as easily which is nice and if we get a little bit closer and look up underneath here you'll notice that you do have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly I love their graphics. They've been doing these for a couple years, but they're just so angular and, and modern. I really like it. As we come back over here, you have an extra storage compartment. And the nice thing about this is this is perfect to store all of your hookup materials. So your, your power cord, your freshwater hose, jack blocks, things of that sort. This is a great extra space. It's underneath one of the bunks too, which is nice. Uh, that they use that for an outside storage compartment magnetic holdbacks slam latches and then you have a second gray tank for the kitchen and outside kitchen back here as well notice that you still have the gate valves enclosed in the underbelly you're also going to have your outside shower 50 amp service a handy hookup light that way you can see what you're doing because it, it never fails you always get to the campground after dark you're also going to have your fresh water, city water, black tank, flush, cable, and satellite hookups all right here, which is a really convenient feature. As we come around to the back side, you'll notice another optional piece of equipment. This particular one has the rear cargo rack, which is a very nice feature. That's rated at 200 pounds before the spare tire, so just keep that in mind. And then if we look up top here, you'll see that this one is equipped with the LCI InSight backup camera. So that is a really cool feature. There's not a lot of other brands that are including a backup camera standard, especially at this price point. As we come around over here, first thing you'll notice, if I can not trip over the rocks, You've got electric stabilizer jacks, which is again, another optional piece of equipment that we brought in on this one. You're also gonna have a very cool outside kitchen. So they used to have this giant refrigerator and I love that they've changed this because so many people wanted the ice maker. So you've got an ice maker, the smaller refrigerator, as you can see there, extra little cabinet, for some of your outside cooking utensils and things of that sort. A real sink with a real drain into a real holding tank, which is nice. Plumbing access right there. And then you do have a extra drawer for again, some of those cooking items that you need. You're also gonna have a propane quick connect down there. That's that little white tag. And the reason they don't do cooktops is most people have better stuff anyway. Entry door here, you've got the larger entry assist handle and the more ride step above steps. Those have the larger top step, easy adjust feet and flip up inside the door when you're ready for travel. 21 foot power awning and just notice how big this thing is. This covers both entry doors too. You can also see you've got dual outside speakers, a place to mount an outside TV with the appropriate connections in between those two speakers six gallon gas electric hot water heater right there good looking aluminum wheels uh, normally these wouldn't be muddy but this one came in when it was raining so uh, but we'll get those cleaned up before you take it home and uh, that's one of the things about us being a no hidden fee dealership so we take care of all that stuff you know making sure everything works cleaning the trailer all that good stuff comes at no additional charge 
I love that the second entry here has the same treatment. You've got the same set of steps, which is a really cool feature. With us being right next to the airport, this always happens. Every time I go to record, something flies over here lately. Um, but anyways, so up here, you're going to have your leash latch, and you're also going to have your front power stabilizer jack controls up here as well. And then you've got your pass-through storage. So in here, you'll notice you have dual motion sensor lights. Notice how nice and finished off it is. You're also going to have your solar charge controller, your battery disconnect is located up here as well which is a really nice handy feature to kill all 12 volt power to the unit again slam latch doors magnetic held backs on those doors so all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 alpha wolf model 30 dbh if you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like pricing and availability, or if you have any questions, feel free to put those down in the comment section down below, or you can give me a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big chain dealers, and we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, if you could do me a favor real quick before you leave, hit that like button down below. That helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And please feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. We greatly appreciate every one of you that subscribed so far. Uh, that'll help you keep up to date with all of our new videos that we have coming out for you. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative. We hope to see you on our lot very soon, and we'll talk to you again later.